What's up Kids Club? This is Pastor Jordan. Hope you guys are doing well, staying safe and healthy during this shelter in place time. I know things are a little bit crazy, a little wild right now as you're having to stay home. Maybe you're not able to hang out with your friends or see other people and that's why we're making these videos for you so you know that you're not alone. There's other kids just like you all around the world and there's people like me who care about you guys, who are thinking about you and just want to say hi. And no, you may not be able to go and hang out with your friends, but Maybe you can hang out with my friends. So I can bring you some of my friends like I'm going to today. A friend that you might be familiar with. His name is Carwash the Bird. Yo, what's up? What's up, what's up? How you guys doing? I can see you. I can see you. Hey, okay, look at me, kid. Hey, kid, kid, I'm talking to you, kid. All right, look me in the eyes. Staring contest right now, let's go. Don't blink. Don't blink. Don't blink. <laughs> you blinked. <laughs> I always win. Because I don't have any eyelids. <laughs> okay. Car, car wash. It's, uh, it's good to see you. Yeah. How are, how are you doing? I am bored. You're bored? You actually seem like you have a lot of energy. I know. It's all just a facade. Deep inside, I'm truly, really Bored, 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 bored. Okay, well, why are you so bored? Well, because uh, we're stuck at home all the time and, and all the ideas that I've come up with, I've done them all already and I'm out of ideas and I'm so bored. You've done everything that you could think of doing? Yep, like what? Like uh, I started my own YouTube channel? Um, yep, uh, Car Wash Yoki, Car Wash. Karaoke with Car Wash, Car Wash Yoki. It was awesome. Really, like I looked it up, I, I haven't seen it. Well, I started it, but I, I didn't finish it. Do you know how much work it is to do a YouTube channel? Ah, too much. I started it, but uh, nah, I couldn't get it done. Uh, okay, so you tried that. Well, well, what else have you been doing? Oh, I started making face masks. Wow, that's great, yep, to keep other people safe. And uh, I thought I'd make a, a bunch of face masks that other people can use to stay healthy. Um, that, that's great. Um, so how many did you make? One. You made one face mask. Uh-huh. It's right there. Oh, that's your face mask? Yep. Pick it up. Th are you sure this is your face mask? Oh, yeah. This, this is your face mask. Oh, yeah, it's great. See, it fits perfectly on my head. Try it out. You want me to put this on your head? Yep. Okay. Like that, that's your... Yeah, this is my face mask. See, it's great, it protects me, nobody can get to me, it fits my head perfectly. Uh, yeah, but you can't see. Uh, I also can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Okay, the, um, I don't know car wash, I'm not sure that's a great uh, face mask. Maybe you need to like put some eye holes in it or a place where you can breathe. Nah, it's too much work, it's too boring. All right, Carlos, it sounds like you're starting to do a lot of stuff, but that you're not finishing too many things. Yeah, finishing is boring. I'm so bored. All right, you talk about being bored a lot, um, but maybe maybe it's it's not so bad. Maybe that this time you can find some good things about this time where, where things are a little more quiet. Nah, there's nothing good about quiet. You know, actually, I, I have a, another friend. You have another friend? You have any friends? I, I do I do have friends. That's good. It, it is good. I have another friend uh, that, that maybe can talk to you a little bit because he actually likes being quiet. Really? Who's that? All right. Hey guys, you want to meet a, another one of my friends? This is Caboose the Gorilla. Hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, I remember you. That's right. You guys have met before. Yep, it's me, Caboose the Gorilla. Yeah, yeah, you're awesome. You're like this cute little baby gorilla. I am not cute, and I'm not a baby. Really? You're sure you're not a baby? Because I've seen gorillas before, and they, they look huge, and you look not as huge. I am not a baby gorilla. Do you see me wearing a diaper? No. Do I say goo goo gaga? <laughs> it's so cute when he says goo goo gaga. I'm not a baby. Okay, all right, relax, relax. So he's not a baby, he's a full-grown miniature gorilla. That's right. And, and uh, Caboose, he actually is someone that, that, you know, I know him pretty well. I know he actually likes 
relaxing by himself in the jungle. That's right. I kind of like being by myself. I like sometimes when it's quiet. Yeah, but aren't you bored when you're just sitting around with nothing to do? Yeah, but sometimes when there's nothing to do, you can experience things you wouldn't normally see. See, sometimes you can hear things you can't hear when it's quiet. Wait, you can hear things in the quiet? Yep. No, you can't. That's the whole point of quiet. Quiet means there's no sound. Listen. Sometimes. I hear you. When you're real quiet, you could hear crickets, you could hear frogs, you could even hear the wind blow. Sometimes, if you're really, really quiet, you can hear God. Wait, I'm sorry, I was too quiet, I couldn't hear you. What did you say? I said, you can hear God. You hear God? I think he's crazy. No, 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 he's, he's not crazy, actually, what? Uh, what Caboose is talking about is sometimes when we're, when we're quiet, when we're still, we can pray. That's right. And, and when you're praying and when you're quiet, you can actually hear God. Maybe not the real voice of God, but you'll be able to sense what God is saying. You'll be able to sense him in nature, sense him around you. And you can do that. It's hard to do when things are so noisy all the time. Really? Yeah, that's right. You know, actually, guys, there is a story about this in the Bible. Oh, you're going to like this. He tells Bible stories. They're pretty good. All right. All right. So there's a story about this guy in the Bible. His name is Elijah. 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 And this is in the book of 1 Kings chapter 19. And in this story, Elijah is tired. Yeah. I bet he's bored. Well, I'm not sure he was bored. He, he's pretty worn out. He'd been working really hard, and he said, I don't want to do it anymore. I give up. And he went onto the mountainside, and God spoke to him. Whoa. And God said, I am going to show you my presence. He's going to show him what God looks like? Yeah, he said, I'm going to show you my presence. So Elijah stood up on the mountain. And as he stood on the mountain waiting, there was a wind. A wind like this. <sighs> oh, monkey breath, monkey breath. Okay, yeah, not, not breathing, but a wind like a hurricane wind that blew everything around. Wow! And God was in the hurricane? God is so powerful, he's so big, that God is like a giant hurricane. Actually, the Bible says that the hurricane, the wind came, but God was not in the wind. Yeah? That's right. And then next came an earthquake and the ground shook and everything shook and all the ground broke up and there was a huge earthquake. Yeah, and I bet it showed the power of God and God is a mighty earthquake. Actually, it says the earthquake came, but God was not in the earthquake. And then a fire came and there was a fire that burned up all around and God is like an all-consuming major fire. But it says that God was not in the fire. And then, after the hurricane, after the earthquake, after the fire, came a... A what? Did you say something? Yeah, he said, a gentle whisper. Wait, what? A gentle whisper. Wait, I can't hear you. A gentle whisper. That's what it said, that after all the flashy stuff, the earthquakes and the hurricanes, that God spoke in a gentle whisper or a still, small voice. Really? Isn't God big and huge and loud? He is, but he's also soft and quiet. And sometimes, in the midst of all of our busyness and all our noise and our activity, we can miss out on the quietness of God's presence, of his peace. Maybe he's speaking to us and he's showing you ways to love the people around you. Maybe he's showing you small ways that he's at work. And God's at work all the time, even in the quiet. Yeah, I experience that. I like it. Sometimes it's good to slow down and be quiet. So you're saying maybe I, I shouldn't try to start uh, another YouTube channel or, or make 1,500 masks without eye holes in them? Well, you can try to do those things. But maybe if you slow down a little bit, you'll find more peace in the presence of God. All right, maybe I'll try that. How about you guys try that this week too? Maybe all of us try to slow down a little bit. 
Yeah, like maybe we could turn off our computers and turn off our phones sometimes. Wait, don't do it yet. Finish watching this video and then give like a thumbs up and then share with all your friends and then shut off your phone and your computer. Okay, maybe do that. But maybe let's slow down and listen. God is with you. He loves you. You're not alone. And it's okay to be a little bored sometimes. It's all right to slow down and find your wholeness in the presence of God. Love you guys. Hope you're doing well. And we'll be sending out another video next week. God bless you and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Practice your staring contest. Bye-bye.